Hey there everyone and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Now it's probably going to be another short recording. Uh, what we're mainly going to focus on is... Finish up side quests. Because uh, apparently some of them you can actually miss. If you don't do them in time. And I went off from the local map there. Thankfully, we can fast travel anywhere to these obelisks. Which is very nice. Um, so, travel to Martha's Rest, since the main story wants us to cut through, uh, North, North Wing? It's true. Burn to the ground. Yeah, I think it's North Wing. And then to, uh, Northeast. Lost Wing. Lost Wing, that's what it is. We'll, we'll go ahead and stop here at Martha's gone. Rest. And from what I remember last time, I don't think we really did any quest afterwards, but I remember we unlocked uh, Ifrit's. Or Ifrit's. Ifrit's? I think it's Ifrit. His uh, abilities. Start upgrading them and equip some. Oh, I do have that one. I don't, don't have it equipped, though. I do know the limit break is awesome to use. And ignition is a fantastic ability. It actually has an extremely fast recharge rate, which is amazing. It's done for. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the golden stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Oh, the cat's away. Yep, we'll prioritize that. This seems a little fishy. Slay the bandits in the golden stables. Oh, there is. Ah, golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Hmm? Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Aha! Uh -huh. On a bad guess. Let's get this over with. Oh, that's a fantastic ability. And this combo with it. I don't even think we got hit once. Eh, very little of those, but that's fine. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Oh wow, that was a real short and easy side quest. Wonder if we can get that drink now, maybe? There he is. Out of the 
power. Uh oh. You're the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Oh, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and... Uh... Take care of yourself. Nice man. Let's go in here and see if we can get that drink. Or at least what Martha's got to say. Them there do wells were no match for you, eh? Oh, we never talked with her. Okay, cool. We can learn a little bit. Well? Right, I forgot. Well, I'm the landlady of this place, as I'm sure you've guessed by now, same as me old mum before me. Ain't the most glorious life, but it has its perks. For one, whatever I say goes, up to a point anyway. If I start telling people to treat their bears better, the lads from the Legion would have me dangling from the rafters. So me other work, I keep quiet. Only ones that know are them that are, that are already in it up to their necks. Sid, the blood axes, the Abby And Lott. you, of course. And you, of course. So don't you go letting the cur coral out the bag, eh? That's Lively the rest. enough, ain't it? Lively enough, ain't it? All of us crammed up here on the rock. It was even busier when I was a youngin'. You'll come past the aqueduct on your way over. Back when they were putting it up, all the builders stayed here. The place was as packed as a barrel of Jisal Jisal Green. But then the Imperials came. But then the Imperials came and the work was called off. All them poor lads out of a job. And what's a gang of strapping stonemasons to do when no one's building nothing? Why, off their muscle out to the highest bidder, of course. And that's how the blood axes came to be. The rest may not be as easy, as busy as it once was, but at least we're all safe up here thanks to them. I don't know how the bastards who did that can live with themselves. The people of Eastpool were the kindest folk you could ever hope to meet. They just kept themselves to themselves. And never did no one the no harm. the Imperials couldn't have that, could they? But the Imperials couldn't have that, could they? No, they had to go storming in and burning the whole place down. And all because they had the gall to keep the memory of the old duchy alive and that heartless cow Annabella wants everyone to forget it. But I won't forget, and I'll never forget. Shame you ain't staying. Uh, anyone else in here to talk to? Yeah, I don't need the info. Okay. Well, out here then. Anything else in the area? No. So, go ahead back to the world map here. Lost Wing, welcoming committee. Go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Welcoming committee. All right. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. 
They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Man, it's things like that where you really learn how bad it is for the bearers. But how did the grocer know his Those two just arrived and they're already terrified. So setting fast. Terrified to say anything. Can I have another cup? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Huh. You'll find bread and wine on the counter. If you need more, just say the word. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. I don't know, just the whole society rules uh, in this world of Final Fantasy 16 is always just kind of interesting. The whole bears and non-bears, dominance to regular people, bears to regular people. Here, bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you. For everything. Thank you. Nice. Another easy mission there. Gill bug. Trade for some gill. Not bad. Which tells me this other side mission is probably a quick one too. So far all of them have been relatively quick. The longest one I believe was uh, finding lost items and uh, searching for that one missing person. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. I-I-I want no trouble! Wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Griega! You were the hanged man! I took you for a rogue! If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps! And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please. 
rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Dying on the vine. Alright, uh, what way did I up here and out the door? Okay, cool. Yeah, it should be like just outside of town, too. This shouldn't take just about a minute. But how did the grocer know his daughter? Especially once we get outside Our of the settlement. That's one thing that suck. does kind of suck, though, is every time you're in a settlement, you go pretty. Well, I guess not pretty slow, but a lot slower because you can't run. So it's just a jog through whatever settlement you're in. I mean, I get it. There's not really a reason to uh, run, but still. There we go. Now we can the get there. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Exterminate the pests. Dang, this boss actually took a good, decent fight. And die from one combo. You're finished. Oh, that's right. I don't have the uh, ability to hurt him. That's enough. Nice. Enemy sling. Torgal's barking. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quinton's man know. Yeah. Might go a little bit quicker, fast traveling to the obelisk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot quicker. In case you were wondering, the boys finally cleared the road to Northreach. But there's no need to hurry, is there? I can think of a few reasons you might want to linger another night or two. Huh. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing? You know, I don't think I really talked about it, but I really like the, the voice for Clive. The voice actor did such a good job on it. For sure. He puts uh, such good life and character into him. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Quest completes. Uh, anything special? Nope. Ah, black blood. That could be used for some. And just for the sake of curiosity... Let's check out the hideaway. And let's talk with that one guy... Who talks about the, uh... I forget what it's called. The services that we offer. Fancy giving us a hand? 
Here you uh, go. Alliant reports, okay. Seen enough? The dome goes by many titles, including some that would make you blush. But only a trusted few know her real name. Alright, well. I thought this would mainly be focused on side quests, but all of those were done pretty quick, so. Let's go ahead and All right, set the path was cleared, so I guess let's go to Lost Wing and then take the north way out. Cause I think that's the way it, they want us to go. Even though we could fast travel to the obelisk at the fields be enough today. and then just but go west. The grocer, now his been okay, I wish you would stop repeating that same line. Uh, did I go this way before for the quest for that Is one? Is it safe to ride in North Reach now? Myself? Maybe? No. No, I don't think I did. Alright, we're going into new territory here. Excellent. Hopefully I'll get into a fight that give me a chance to go back into that uh, semi-prime state. I don't want to use it just on anything. Yes, yes, Torgo. Alright, can't run across that water. So this should be a straight path, though. Still pay attention if there's anything off the path, though, for sure. Man, I'm at such a good level right now. 28. Dragon Avis. This was easy. Go Dragon protecting over here. Anything special in here? Griffin's head braid. Let's check our gear here. That increases burning blade damage by 7%. I don't use it that much though to justify so not yet I wonder if we'll get any more uh, equipment slots or um not equipment slots oh, what's what I'm looking for accessory slots besides the three probably not if we did that'd be awesome then I would seriously stack abilities up but till then if I can get some general damage 
It's good enough for me. Get over here, chocobos. Dragon Avis here. Last recording, I actually have not grinded. I don't think I will until probably a lot later now because we're we're a pretty good level. Northreach. Level 28 when most enemies are level 21 right now. That's that's pretty good. And we got some nice abilities. Which, that was ironically more of why I was, uh, grinding. It was more to, uh... Uh, buy the musics and stuff, as well as... Whoa, big area. Um... Is there anything special? Raptor. Oh, maybe these will actually be a challenge? Ooh, Vulture. Okay. Maybe some different enemies here. Enemies that also kind of make more sense. I'll check this area out more later. 